Welcome back with the warm weather we're having, very warm weather. It's hard to believe it's actually still cold and flu season, so are your symptoms of cold or springtime allergies? Making a house call tonight, Dr. Jennifer Schell from the Traverse Area Pediatrics and Adolescent Clinic. Welcome, Jennifer. Thank you. Or shall I call you Dr. Schell? Either one's fine. So a lot of us say, okay, I have, I've had a cough, I've had the sniffles for a little bit. Do you reach for the allergy medicine or do you reach for the cold or do you go to the doctor? A lot of us, it's just confusing. Sometimes it's difficult to tell and especially with young children who can have eight to 10 colds in a year it can seem right. like wow. they're sick all the time, which can be one right after the other. But there are a few little tidbits that may be able to help you distinguish one from the other. Okay. Um, Cold symptoms, symptoms of a cold, could be sneezing, um, some low-grade fever, 102, 101, um, decreased appetite, sore throat, and some cough. Uh, a cold should last seven to 10 days and then gradually start to get better after peaking on days three to five. So seven to 10 days, if, it's, if you're still not getting better, I mean, could it be something worse? It could or be should something you go to the doctor worse? before then? You know, if the symptoms are mild, as we mentioned earlier, you probably don't necessarily need to see your physician unless you're worried that something is worse than that. And, and if you see your child, maybe they're kind of in the little cough or sometimes I know it's like a deep cough. It's way down in your mm -hmm. chest. Well, certainly anytime we recommend that you're uncomfortable with how your child looks, we recommend that you see your physician. They're not acting normal. Right. If, you're, if you don't like how they look, um, they're not behaving appropriately, you certainly should call your physician. Okay. And so what about um, allergy symptoms? Now we tend to know that allergies are frequently inherited symptoms. So those may be, if you're having symptoms and you know that you have allergies, that may be something to think about in your child. You may notice watery nose, itchy eyes, ears, nose, and more spasmodic sneezing, frequent repeated sneezing. So it's not, not the three in a row and then it goes away. <laughs> <laughs> you may also, because of that itchiness that we talked about, you may also see your children do something we call an allergic salute, where they're trying to itch their nose and they oh, may do something yeah. like that. So sometimes that can be a tidbit of allergies so as well. So that, that was this, this move? Yes. Very oh, nice. Okay. So how long do the allergy symptoms usually last? They go on through the whole summer or I know well, some people have like them all year round I've noticed. Certainly right. So certainly depending on what you're allergic to, you could have symptoms mainly in the spring, mainly in the fall, or as you suggested, they could be year round. Um, but you should never have a fever with allergies. So really? certainly if you have a fever that is persisting, that's more indicative of an infection. Never ever. Right. So that's the, that's the one rule we should remember. So as far as the, as far as the fever, with a child, and, and this is always something we should remember, when is it high enough to, hey, I gotta, I gotta take my kid to the doctor? Certainly, as we mentioned earlier, anytime you don't like how they look, no matter what the height of the fever, that's a time when you should call if you're uncomfortable with how they're looking. But certainly if you're hitting that 104 range, that's the time to take them in. So better be, like, it seems like you're saying, hey, be safe, rather be safe than sorry. Exactly. It's a good rule to live by. All right, well, thank you so much, Dr. Shaw. Thank you.